Hello guys, Hero of Kadia here, and today I'm bringing you a new video on Rust, and also the first video on Rust. So um, I hope it entertains you in a, any kind of way. This uh, video is for all you Rust fans out there. If you ever wondered how much time do I have to spend until I surely get the code, or what's the chance? Of getting the code right or how many codes are there possible I'll try to answer that in that video and uh, hopefully I'll be able to entertain you because that information will not be very useful to you in real life unless you're a thief in which case I don't wanna be involved but uh, uh, glad to help so let's start with how many possible codes on the code lock are available so the code lock has four, um, has four digits. It has four digit code. So we have ten options for it, for uh, each of the digits. So the, the, this being the numbers from one, uh, from zero to nine. Uh, so we have ten options each digit, which means uh, when we multiply them, we get ten thousand options for codes which is uh well we it, it's not actually it's huge but i expected more that that's for every digit code you, uh, for digit code you can use it um now that means it it brings a chance of about 0.01 percent that you will enter a code right so when you enter a random code you have a slight 1 in 10,000 or 0.01% of actually guessing the code. So hopefully if you guess it 10,000 times and um, keep a track, keep track of that number and uh, the combinations used, you will be able to crap any huge base, base code. Actually if they have more codes it will take you more than 10,000 price but whatever uh, so let's figure out how much uh, time it will cost you to do that so I ran a test and then I reduced a bit the number because some of you may be faster but uh, I can't see how you can go through all of the options and be faster but uh, we came at the, the number of 22.92 seconds for 10 tries uh, or 2.292 seconds uh, to for, for you to input a code now if we presume there is no delay between inputting the no significant delay between inputting codes if you have a easier to proceed with system that will allow you to do that and uh, you have enough meds kits not to get fried you will have to you will have to spend 2.292 uh, multiplied by 10,000 which brings us about 22,920 seconds guessing the code which when we convert it in hours is 6.4 let's say 6.4 it's 6.3666 whatever it's uh, 6.4 hours now um if you get a friend and you have some sort of a plan you can probably use this two, for two three uh although i anticipate 75 percent along the way you might be able to crack it this is uh, also a great tip I can give you guys is if someone tries to decipher codes they will start with 0, 1 you know going kind of in the ways way our brain is used to which means um, from the lesser number to the greater number which will hopefully give you enough time to discourage them if you start your code with 9 so here actually it was useful somehow I just came up with that idea 
Now, uh, hopefully that has been entertaining to you guys. It's a really short video, but there was not really to explore. It was just basic math. So it wasn't really hard. Uh, if you like that type of videos, I have one more planned, but if you want to see something more like that, uh, I strongly suggest you leave a comment down below or in share you or whatever, wherever I share that and uh, slap a like on it so I have, well, leave a comment with your ideas of course because I, I am having a bit of a hard time coming up with ideas I can, uh, I can calculate it this time but if you want to see something I'll probably get on it and I'll try to uh, do it, although it might take me a little bit more time than the things I have already planned out. So uh, yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed, it took me about uh, 5, 5, 6, 7 takes to record this audio because I'm a silly man and I can't think while speaking which is a big problem for me. But uh, through YouTube we shall prevail. So uh, yeah guys, slap a like on that video and I'll see you next time.